for me. I'm writing this down. Hey. Got it. Ooh, got it. All right. Hey, everybody out there in, in uh, um, virtual land, live land, and, and uh, it's good to be here. I just want to say that. Welcome to the Native. Uh, uh, oops, let me turn this off. Welcome to the Native Wellness uh, Power Hour. And I don't, I can't tell you how long we've been on now for, and how many shows we or episodes we've had or programs. But we put this together at the beginning of the pandemic, just knowing that our people would be traumatized and and um, and in other ways. And so we just wanted to have a solution or just to bring out there that good spirit that you know. And we're just talking about this, doing some good stuff in a good way. You know, we just want to come on here and you know. It's, in a, in a good way. So welcome, welcome, welcome. And uh, my name is Gene Tagaban and we have a, and, and who else do I have on here? Who? Um, Oki, Nathanako, Aste, Nikki, Iwa, um, Lori Newbrass from the Blackfoot uh, Territory in Montana. Ah, that's good. And my name is Gene, I didn't even say my name. My name is Gene Tagaban and uh, uh, my Shlinket name is Gayao. I'm of the uh, Raven Freshwater Socket Clan from Huna, Alaska. Child of a Wishkata, an Eagle Shark Clan from Aquan in Juneau, Alaska. Um, I'm Cherokee Clinket and Philippines. Pino. Right now, it's good to be here on the land of the traditional lands of the Puyallup people, on the territories of the Coast Salish. And I tell people in the shadow of Mount Tahoma, you know, where the uh, the meaning of that is where the original, uh, the origin of the waters, where the waters come from. And it's interesting. I was just reading this book yesterday on the development of Tacoma, uh, the beginnings. And it talked about um, uh, when vancouver came through here in his ships and uh he saw uh what is known as mount baker now and he saw that uh, out there and he just said hey I, i'm gonna you want to we want to be named this and so he looked at one of his his corporals or admirals or whatever and so they named him mount baker and that's what they do with mount rainier just just cruising on through and they saw a mountain as if it was floating on the clouds and um how he described it and then he said uh uh i'm going to name this after my, one of my good friends admiral rainier or something like that and so they just randomly started naming things you know and and they're not not acknowledging that they already had names i was like i was thinking around thinking about going around and start seeing things and say hey how about we just name this thing here and you know and and uh we'll just reclaim this area right here we're just going to name it so and so and and anyways that was just how my mind was working after i read that book but it, it's it's good to be here and um on uh, the power hour and i'm asking how are you guys how is everybody out there doing here today and and uh as we're as we're going to go on and we're just going to we're just going to talk here and, and Lori and i were just going to have a conversation and talk about uh um whatever's on our mind today and and um uh, and how things are going and again bringing that good spirit out there to the people you know and and so what do you think Lori? Um, I'm in total agreement, <laughs> but, but uh, I think I think how I arrived here on this week's Power Hour is I've been really uh, like focused to make sure that uh, when I speak about the traditional medicines that my my words are real, that that they're coming, they're real, and what ends up on a piece of paper in the English language that those are as close to real. So like, I don't, I don't sweat bullets. I, I really like kind of been in wasting in the smudge to make sure that uh, what comes out of my mind, my whole being ends up, you know, and so I missed, no, sorry, sorry, social media, <laughs> network TV. <laughs> I missed uh, until somebody brought it up. I said, hey, how can be people making jokes about uh, the ICs, you know, the indigenous creatures? And then I today I thought about how, uh, you know, the ICWA is everybody's mindful. We're in the mind of that, you know, um, our children are going to be. It's, it, it's like uh, with us 
And then also I started thinking about that English letter I, you know, I, sometimes in school, I, I would see um, I is for Indian. Right next to A is for apple. B oh, is, awesome. is for bread. So you were an item you were like consumerized kind of, you know, in the way that I was brought up in the U.S. school system. And so I, I, I consider myself, my parents were, you know, more boarding school uh, uh, survivors, not that, but they were also victorious because they came out with enough of themselves. But for me, I, I consider myself a survivor of the U.S. school system. So there were a lot of times when that, even that English word, I, was kind of like you're the only Indian. So when it's I for Indian, everyone in the class goes, you know. And so I seen once I was saying, oh, okay, so I better, I better like, you know, get back into social media, come from reality and go digital. And um I appreciated all the humor. You know, I mean, that's like um I was just saying right before we got on, that's kind of like our force field, you know, mm -hmm. kind of like if you think of Star Trek which I'm still considered, I believe it was based on Indians or indigenous people or in the sweet to be you know, real people, but, you know, engage the force fields and there comes up the humor. And holy geez, I don't think, uh, you know, um, I grew up with TikTok, meaning like a grandfather clock and a child song, but TikTok, you know, is a, is a different medium. And so I really seen people's responses to that and it was across the board and one of our elders that uses um social media he's really good at it he's good uh -huh. at it <laughs> he said okay that's enough they made fun of us we're powerful in our humorous ways we it has a root tool but less 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 like kind of like you know slow 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 let it down now and really say that's not you we're not an IC, no matter how much in the English language you twist it. And so like I was having my kind of my reemergence of, you know, um, Pikaniaki. That's who I am. Uh -huh. But I also see it's we're in those teaching moments now, you know, everybody uh, uh, they want to define us. And and really that's what healing's about. It's about your real self, you define. But we live in this world, a social political world, and you know, so they're the the people in the black robes once again in DC are going to decide something about our children. Hello, you know, kind of thing. So I really had to this morning. I you know had a lot of um, it. It's very for some people it'd be really cold, but you know, uh, if you aren't prepared. So I I've been kind of like. Um, one of my older cousins describes where I live. He says, well, you're in, you're at the center of the universe. And, and I really like uh, was integrating all this, this information that I had kind of been coasting, you know, I was concerned about, you know, <laughs> writing about medicines and really who I am is, you know, I can make jokes. I love to make jokes. Jo uh, you know, we uh, are jokesters when we need to be, and it has it has power in itself. You know, it almost makes me want to go like this. Yeah, you know, all the Indian humor got let loose on the internet. Yeah, I I feel you. You know, and I was like, okay, good, they got it covered because I'm over here trying to. Yeah, yeah. So, but I I think it also says during this time I've really really been reflective. Jean brought up the power hour and. It's kind of like our 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 wellness rope through the pandemic, and now we're still in it. But all the fallout, all the things that have been sat on, and when I was coming here today, I really, you know, I think the English language is fascinating. <laughs> you know, you look up the origin of words, and you know, indigenous is a relatively new word. It's a relatively new English word. And you really want to say, what is the purpose of that word? Like, why is it, what is its inception? Just like if, you know, my name, the name, the people I belong to, I know the inception mm -hmm. of my name. 
in the inception of my people in our place on, you know, in creation to the best of my knowledge, because my homework's not done. But I also just this week have felt, okay, I have to go out of my bubble, my little, my comfortable reflective bubble where I can go out and stare at the, the holy mountains that had the name like Jean was talking about, you know, go out and see those mountains, they are, they, they have uh, universal energy that we need. And they've been witnessing all of this. Mm. And they're there to remind us of those teachings in and of themselves, because they are places that hold, they're kind of like the, the beacons of sacredness in, in our lands. And so when I thought about, you know, English language and just just all our members, and that uh, a lot of part a lot of part of the last couple of decades or even recent years are learning about lateral oppression, all that kind of stuff. Lateral lateral trauma, all they be blue. But I like the NWI kind of like because I like t-shirts. You know, where there's trauma, healing is the answer. Uh huh. Really, in these moments, I think I'm re-examining my lateral healing kit. What do I need to keep myself on that path? And, and what can I pay forward in a good way? So with that, I'll throw it back to Jean. Ah, uh, thanks, Laurie. Hey, there's a lot of stuff that you just mentioned too that just um, I was reflected on, especially when it comes to identity. Um, you know, that that identity of, sure, we when, when we talk about something about identity, we're always talking about ourselves. We place it on ourselves, you know, as human beings, as people, as a group of people, but also the land itself, that identity, you know, the identity of those mountains that we're talking about, the identity of a land base, a place, and the sacredness of place and the energies of place. I know indigenously, we um, we never made, named a place after another person. We named it because of a characteristic that it carried. Mm -hmm. That it carried you know and so when we place these other four names on these places you know and that 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 is an energy and it just and it it affects that the energy of that place you know just that's how important the names are and those identities of it you know and so when you were talking about that too and and knowing who we are as far as our identity because um that i see you know we, we've you know, I, I didn't know that either, Lori. Uh, Ruby and I were like going, what is going on? Everyone's talking about indigenous creatures and, you know, and then all of a sudden we, you know, we came across it. Oh, okay. So what happened there? Yeah. And those who don't know, I mean, ABC had a, had a slip and they, they called on, um, they were talking about reservation dogs. And then they, they said, oh, we'll take it back. You know, the, what we talked about the, what's up for the indigenous creatures or something like that. And so, like with us as Indian people, yeah, the humor just took off. I mean, it was like that was one thing that we that again, that's that shield, that that force field that you're talking about. Um that we as Indian, as indigenous people, um, we have and we've always had that humor, you know, in the midst of 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 uh some of the darkest times, you know, and and um there's one thing too, even with that humor and building up that humor, you know, those who are familiar with the medicine wheel, the physical, the mental, emotional, and spiritual, the Northeast, West, and South, you know, the, the colors and the aspects of it too. Some of it, uh, how I use the medicine wheel as well is, you know, because these things were always getting arrow shot at us, right? We're always all getting something shooting at us. Something's there waiting for, it's like almost that darkness that, that, um, that another disease, that another bacteria, that another, another pandemic, that another uh, lateral oppression or lateral uh, violence that's there also, you know, on top of just plain violence and just negativity that's out there, um, that's always out there. So one of the ways that I use the medicine wheel is the physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual is that I need to make and build up myself. I need to build up my physical immunity my mental immunity, my my um, emotional immunity, and my spiritual immunity. I need to build up my immunity so when these things do come, which they will, I'm 
already prepared for them. You know, as opposed to like just all getting slapped in the face and going, I didn't expect that. At least I'll be prepared for whatever might be coming. I don't I don't know what's on that's on their horizon, what what's next. But if I could build up my immunity, it's just like my my uh, those immunities about before, you know, we get the vaccine for to build up our immunities against the flus, the illnesses, the COVID, whatever it is. I need to build up my immunities for all these other things that are that are coming out that are out there. And that's part of that that identity of knowing who I am also. And um and this whole thing about um these path of I'm doing next week a, a workshop on it's called Pathways to Wholeness. You know, and the, the and the um the word from healing uh, which means wholeness, gaining, becoming whole again. You know, and, and so that's that that root root word, you know, for healing is becoming whole. And so it's um that's a, a lot of it too. It's like how can I become a whole human being? And I'm always working on it, especially as I'm getting older, Lori. I mean, she's mm -hmm. I mean, my my worldview compared to when i was younger is so much different than um than what i was you know than i got now you know and and seeing those things what can you know and that's re it's even becoming more part of again my identity of who i am as a human being as a native as an indian you know and and as a man as a male identified and and those things and and um in this world that whole identity and, and all is and again how can i become more of a whole person especially as i'm taking a look at these younger generations because young we're part of that generation Lori, that we experienced the world without the internet mm -hmm. we knew what the world was like without social media or any of those things and so we had that experience Mm -hmm. you know, and so now there's a lot of the, the world that's out there now they there's out there and there's these generations that have never experienced that and they're highly intelligent they're so smart they're so intelligent you know and a lot of them say they're these woke generations what are these these words whatever it is but they're highly intelligent but um but a lot of it that is my thing is like, how can I support them? Because they have all this intelligence at their fingertips, but they don't have the life experiences. They don't have those those experiential references to to fall back on. You know, and it's all it's a lot of book work. You know, and they've done their homework. They've done their book, their book work in that way. But you know, even do. But like my elder said, we got to do our homework. You know. That's our home. We've got to do our homework. Mm -hmm. You know, and we've got to do our homework. You know, so how can I, part of me is like, how can I support these younger generations as they're growing? And I can learn from them, but also yeah. teach or share or pass on these, these things to, to teach about identity, to teach about how to become physical mental emotion spiritually immune for when these things do come and uh you know so this is a lot of you know things that i'm i've i've been thinking about also and uh i i really feel that too when like when i caught up i and i understood too what what our elder was putting on you know facebook this morning you know like no 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 because it's there's always behind comments like that. I thought about two things. I thought about not only identity, but also about the power to bring people together and interference. The act of uh, sometimes living right now as a as an Aswitapi, as an Indian, as uh, you know, indigenous person, like that, that's like kind of a ticket word, because we, if we say it, we know what we mean, uh -huh. but other people are learning it, but so I know I was really mindful of two things, that if there's any young person out there, and part of that, when you heard that, your first 
it, it caused your heart to clutch because it was telling you who you are. This is how we're going to, this is how it was a slip, but this is how we're going to describe you. So it was already putting on like a, you know, kind of like, you know, you think of yourself as a brand, a, a, a brown person or however you think of yourself. It's already saying, no, now you are, you're getting sugar-coated in an indigenous creature. So then, then I kind of had uh, like just thinking and looking on the stuff online and they did apologize, like my bad. But I understood too, that during this critical week, a non-indigenous person in a non-indigenous power controlled media even though they rehearse and they go through scripts, they ain't, they ain't, uh, you know, storytellers, you know, like me and group, uh, Jean's recovering group, you know, but so how I was reminded of that teaching that Gertie Heavy Runner, one of our elders, when we were starting to teach drum making again, and she was trying to convey, because she was already then in her in her late 70s, she was trying to convey to us the responsibility of learning that, of the power of being able to make. So just she had thought about it. So this is what she told me. One drum can unite thousands of people. And so when I reflect on this week, one nanosecond broadcast in all of in all of creation, turn the focus in Indian, Indian country. And on social media, that's not all that's going on. The things that are important to us, yes, they appear. They appear. I like t-shirts. You know, somebody said somebody's going to do indigenous creation, like Cree, Cree Indians. And I appreciate that. In, in, but now I could see... Uh, this was a very important week. Things were happening that are dear to our families. And just kind of that's, that's, I love social media. I love to learn new things. I'm teachable, you know, I'm still on the grid. <laughs> I pay my bill. And uh, I love learning things that TikTok, you know, I don't know if they expected, uh, you know, the reels, <laughs> the reels that I'm making, but that's, I, I appreciate all of that. But I did like having a step back and once removed, like I seen how that one shifted, it, it even shifted the agenda. And uh, so, but I, it was necessary to say, that is not who you are. You define who you really are because you're that only gifted life that the creator gave with those gifts that you carry that's your connection and so sometimes it's it's things that I hear my teachers you know like Gritty coming back to my mind and we're very blessed that she's still you know a member of our community and um but just in that one moment she was trying to convey to me at a time in my life when we were really uh, reconnecting and reteaching and repatriating, reviving, you know, a very important part uh, to share with, with families, not just with youth, but through youth programming. And so she had thought about what she was going to say. And I thought too, that that's the power of social media that, uh, you know, you can unite a lot of people. So now that all the, the, maybe the Indians were like, you know, maybe they were like filtering their filter, their filter, their filter, their filter, their filter, and they aren't their real selves. But you look at some of that so, social media and it's like WTF, you know, or uh, from all ages, what did you just say? Yep. And then now um, encouragement that it's an educational moment. It's It's a moment where, we start saying, it's up to us. We can control our own voice in, the, in this dialogue. So I also seen that. I, I recognize that achievement. But I, I go back to those teachings about when you got people's attention, what you going to do? Yeah. And to honor the, the spiritual gift of creativity that we all carry, carry in us. 
and to have it linked to something that you know is in uh is our just who we are naturally being in a different medium you know and and, and seeing and celebrating because i think that's also one of the things i've learned like when people are talking about things i often hear you know like different myself but also my teachers is this a moment of celebration or is this a moment of corrective action and I feel that you know I loved I love watching the TikToks but you know I got work too so um there's that but I do appreciate the the generations and I feel gifted that I guess one of the things I could say about myself and, and Jean, you too, you know, where is that we now have many living members of the generations currently alive. And that really is a moment for me of a celebration. And when we all team together and do corrective actions, that's to me about paying forward in a good way all those ancestor struggles when you move together collectively because that really is i all like a lot of the teachings there's power in lateral collective yeah. cooper cooperation so that's kind of yeah well i like what you said i mean just that, that gift of creativity that we have we all have that that gift and given that gift and that also that gift of um um of our intelligence our intelligence using that as well you know because when these things do show up and they come we can um how are we going to react or what what is our reaction to it or what is our motivation or how are we going to respond to this as opposed to uh just as just being angry mad like you said w2tf you know ex exclamation 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 what the you know did they just say and then we just start blurting out this 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 you know that, that you know initial reaction you know using the humor but then again um it's like what our creative intelligence and our you know how can we use that you know, and and everybody out there who's listening too. I mean, it's like we're, the, we're we are in a in a place because I've seen so much again with the social media is out there and everything. What people are doing is just just very you know just pretty, um, just bright and pretty. Uh, uh, I mean, in many of these things, I was I'm like I'm going wow okay that's a great I love how they did that or how they said that or how they you know and their use of social media. And what they're doing i mean it's so different than you no know, i mean i have so much to learn about it. and i don't know if i'm ever going to learn that much about it to be honest with you you know i'm here i am here we are on, on this zoom thing and and i'm pretty i'm pretty impressed that we are on here right now and doing what we're doing you know but these younger generations i mean they could just they uh is is and again how how is it that i can you know be part of that as you know that that uncle, that elder, or just bringing in those those teachings, you know, keeping our ancestral wisdoms alive, and uh, and those teachings of you know again those trickster teachings, man, of of raven, coyote, and spider. I saw my brother uh, 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 Stephen talking about those trickster teachings, and you know they, and sure those those old stories are there to, they're for entertainment, but what they're doing is take a look at some of those, and they're teaching us how to teach. Mm -hmm. they're teaching us they're they're teaching us how to you know that the coyote teachings you know rave and trickster teachings they're teaching us uh how to teach without them knowing they're being taught and that's also that that almost like that, that psychological uh, um neurological uh, conditioning there too and and understanding that and uh, you know, a friend of mine wrote a story about how Raven, you know, this is years ago, she wrote a story about how Raven went into the internet 
and uh, wanted to see what was going on in there, what this here whole thing, big thing was was about. You know, this World Wide Web, they heard about it. And when Raven got in there, he said, oh, this has been going on for, for you know, uh, for a long, long time, it's just in the, just like the roots of all the trees. That's how everyone and everything communicated there. And now they have it all. It's all all around the earth, all around the, the globe here, of Mother Earth. And and then, but then Raven saw that what uh, how he can or they could influence and bring like chaos to this to the world this way, that way, that way, and this way. You know, and 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 so. Raven went in there and then Coyote wanted a bit of this too. So Coyote went into the internet, you know, and so we have all these tricksters in there now and and then um, wanted a little bit of this, wanted a little bit of that. But I love that story that she she wrote and I'll have to ask her about that, about these tricksters getting in there because you know what? You know, if we take a look at the, the what's going on out there in the media and, and such is, you know, it's, it's out there, those tricksters. And so I want to encourage those who to... Do as as Ruby would say. Do your homework. Do your research. Mm -hmm. Find out on uh, that what is out there. Just don't take the word of somebody or whatever. Just find out. Find out about your own people. Find out about yourself. You know, do the research. You know, and and take the time to do that. And uh, and be diligent about it too. And that's using our that's that's using our creative gifts and our intelligence our intelligent gifts that we're 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 given as well and i like i also like who we like even if i use the term like uh um sometimes i i go through my own process right because i'm i am who i am and anyone out there it doesn't matter your age like if i got your back uh, because that's that's what I pray for that's that's what I pray that no matter who you are you're living that gifted life in a good way and that you have what you need and I also I just want to say one of the things I see and as coming in and then reading you know it's kind of like uh reading the 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 winter count on the buffalo robe of my ancestors that aren't here to interpret for me. But what I came in and I was surfing around or, you know, going through social media and stuff. And I really seen, excuse me, we're still here. And this is our perspective on just what you said in a good way, in a funny way, in a shocked way. You know, it was all the emotions. It, it wasn't, uh, because uh, you're always, you know, you're living your best life, right? And then you get hit, hit upside the head by something or you get put in a shock mode. And instead of being frozen, which is a normal reaction to trauma, and it often happens in our community, people just started composing, depending on how many apps they could afford and what programs, you know, they just started composing. Well, this is how's it going to go. And that's, don't think that 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 apology was something through deep internal soul searching at that network. That was because, hey, we're still here. No, let, let us let us show you. First, we're going to, you know, like humor can do a lot of things. And I think in the trickster stories, humor has its sometimes it's lethal humor. And we all know that, too. We all know that, too. But uh, to really appreciate that I seen uh, the narrative of that story, because hello, we're still here. We have these skills, but also that in in healing, um, to be mindful that where, where you're sitting in the circle, I think that's all our responsibility. And I I can remember one time. Um, and uh, my grandfather was still alive and it was it was right I guess what I have to say is I was born before the Indian Child Welfare Act I was born before the Indian Religious Freedom Act I was before Indian Self-Determination Act and so I I lived like a very part of my life my consciousness building life 
knowing that there was no representation in any book except for you know they'll uh the sad dead indian on its way out kind of thing and um or the things they they would say about us and to really appreciate from where i'm sitting in my life circle to see so if you think that things aren't changing because in the nanosecond of the web you know it's the attention span or it's still coming up after so many years and really like that type of reflection where when you have lived decades if you haven't lived decades yet or 25 years from now 100 years from now what are those teachings that you're going to share that toolkit because you're coming up with them that's what i want to say to everybody out there but also i have seen lateral healing Mm-hmm. And people stepping up into family of choice uh, roles, helping people along their way. You know, I've had the, the experience, like when I reflect, uh, um, when I went to communities as a young person, I was always embraced, welcomed. If people brought me there, they assumed the parental role to make sure it was in a good way and protected me from harm just like a parent would and I was full of grown so so we're in this moment where I think I just wanted to give appreciation to to everybody out there uh regardless of your techno skills you know because I have friends that they're like "Uh -uh, I ain't I'm gonna contract that out I ain't learning that I ain't got time because I'm busy you know kind of thing and just to reflect that it, we're in a circle and everybody's important in that circle. Mm-hmm. But I, I also have thought of, you know, that I appreciate people taking back the mic. Instead of dropping the mic, they took it back in terms of digital communication. And I just, I'm enjoying that too. So it's kind of like, you know, storytelling that moves you to through a different, uh, it moves you to not being stuck in the WTF moment. And uh, so I'm looking forward to this next, and hopefully I can afford the data package. package. I might have to do a GoFund, you know, because I live in rural Montana, but, uh, you know, that kind of thing. And, uh, but the trickster is, yes, Gene is everywhere. But I, you know, it's like I like what you're saying too. It just reminded me of how, um, you know, like what we're doing here right now. Everything's being recorded. This program we're on right now, it's being recorded. It's going to be around. Anything that we go, you go online. It's all going to. It's all going to. It's all, everything is being recorded. And so with that, it's um, you know, again, what are those teachings? What are those? And not only that, as as we evolve as as people, I mean, look here, we're online right here. You know, we got, you know, Linkit, Cherokee, you know, Filipino guy on here, Blackfoot, and, you know, and and on here. And then Shailene was on here earlier on me and and, um, and at the basket, you know, so we got not only that. So here we got, you said, who's got your back? You know, it's like in Indian country, native country, you know, it's like, it's just not, it's just not slinking people who, or Cherokee who have my back. It's Indian people, mm-hmm. us coming together, working together, you know, and then the thing is when we all come together in that way, what are those teachings? Because your energy, my energy, our spirit, my ancestors coming together, our ancestors, so what are those whispers? What are those new teachings that are coming to us? Mm-hmm during these times and so i want to encourage people to write this down write them down write them down because sometimes it is it's just a moment because i'm i don't know how many times i've i've had a wondering or a thought and i'm and i'm i'm i kick myself because i should have wrote it down it was just a moment where the whisper came in it was just that fleeting moment where there's a teaching that came in 
and um and i'll have to sit and it'll come back it'll come back again i know that but it's you know and uh but with everything being recorded you know write this stuff down write these new teachings write these moments down record them so that we can when we we can talk about them like on here we can bring them to each other you know where where everything again everything is going to be recorded who knows in a hundred years, Lori, when we're out here, that somebody might look back in these archives and going back to the Native Wellness Institute, they, you know, say, wow, check out all these. You know, who, who knows? And they're like going to go, this here is, you know, some back in the day, there's some, some old knowledge, traditional knowledge back then. And then they'll go back even further before that and say, but this here is the old, old knowledge, you know, and those, the, those that stuff. You know, but who who knows? You know that's that. So it's that that importance of of that documentation, writing it down. You know, and and what is it that I? You know, I I wondered this, Laurie, too, because I recently lost my dad, mm -hmm. and then that I can't help but think about. Okay, what's the legacy I'm going to leave behind? Mm -hmm. What is that? How am I? What's my contribution here? You know, and, and even my own mortality now, especially as I age, and so many people my my age, our age, who are getting ill, sicknesses, you know, or or death, or lost. You know, we have so many people who are being lost too, and so it's it's I'm just seeing more of the importance of that. You know. As opposed to when I was younger, I was just spurting stuff out. I say, "Yeah, let's stand on the the Capitol building and let's sing some song and let's protest." Ah, just going out there. There's a place for that, but at the same time, as I'm getting older, I'm just, I'm, I'm you know, it's this. Um, my thoughts too is like, okay, so I'm, I'm, I have slowed down, but I'm seeing the value of that, uh, the the wisdoms that we have, and you know, for, um. Not just not just for this earth, but for human beings and life on this earth. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm... I I think those moments uh, like if we don't say fast or like like the discussions around binary, like uh, when I first heard uh, like uh, there were non-indigenous person lecture on the power of binary language to support power systems and now that's becoming a way another tool we can have because if we don't say fast or slow because i i think my um if i want to say my travels my life travels if i you know have that behind me the enormity of some of those things that only now i understand are on there so there may only be one thing but it's 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 shifted and to encourage people to regardless of where you're at you're working on that legacy your very act of drawing the breath you already won if you want to have it or as a race because none of us all plans were that we weren't not supposed to be here and that's really our power, yeah. our longevity, our our creation narrative that is not over. And so as we move forward, you know, those are those moments, those those, if you want to say collective, you could feel it. Like we're all here. That in and of itself is a miracle. And there's the the living generation is writing their story documenting it you know i did a podcast and uh you know um uh, i traveled recently with some of my other colleagues and because we had to i had to leave me and my other colleague had to leave early so then somebody photoshopped us into their beach pit picture but we never made it to that beach <laughs> like just like just how we experience time is really non-binary culturally there isn't an end point. It's a continuum that we move through. And 
But that's what I can say right now is I, I do reflect on that. And the way my day started before I, uh, like this is my winter gear because I have to go, later on I have to go somewhere, you know, so I got my wool on, you know, I got my first two layers on. But I went out this morning, right, because they switched the time on us, right? So they're, they're scrambling our eggs, our circadian rhythms, right? And, um, but I went out there. And even though it was low cloud overcast, the light hadn't really changed. I went out there because I had made a commitment to myself and to creator. I'm going to go out there and these, I'm going to offer out this medicine for these people, including myself, but for these people that some of them, I don't even know them because I made that commitment and to go out there and ask everything, to show my part. We have to do our part. You know, we have to help the medicine, however you define that. And really, that's what I also seen demonstrated. I see that every day when I go on the feeds. But, mm -hmm. you know, I'm going to tell you too, um, right now, my two top uh, on one of the social media platforms are Moose and pug dogs so i'm just saying you know i'm not always about the influencer <laughs> you know give oh, me yeah. that pick up that you just take one swoop and your whole face is filter ready you know kind of thing um you know i'm just saying moose and dogs right now but you know that changes too but gene yeah yeah i hear you i mean i'm uh, my on my social media is like definitely with dogs you know and with dogs you know those dog videos but getting outside up in the mountains biking i'm a cyclist and stuff and and i've actually you know to be honest with you i've structured it that let's say facebook i've structured it that that i see a lot of those as opposed to like the uh the the depression the, the, you know, all that stuff because i got overwhelmed with that yeah and that was that was all my my feed came in was just all those things you know and so I was like okay I need to I need to adjust this because every time I was getting on it was it was affecting me in a in a negative way mm -hmm. so how can I use that to affect myself to in a good way mm -hmm. and so yeah dogs cycling mm -hmm. tins outdoors tracking tracking things is is on my on my feed i'm i'm on there people sending pictures of tracks and, and poop you know i'm looking like what do you think what kind of poop is this well where do you think it's from you know <laughs> theater sends me pictures of, of tracks and poop too and I'm like, <laughs> yeah yeah you know, and then we are talking like the letter I has been kind of floating around in my mind, too. And so I follow this Icelandic guy and he's saying he makes jokes like he's by a glacier and there's a sprig of water coming out. You better get here because it's melting fast. Make your make your tourist plans now. But he makes jokes about being at uh, where where he's at. I always think of Iceland as it's kind of like where the world is surfacing sometimes in a real intentional way. So social media has its part, but that integration, right? Like you learn. And yeah. what, uh, you know, even like if somebody who's been raised in, in on social media now, now there's a generation that's born that maybe they can't pay their bills, but the pandemic solidified connection through the internet for for school age for everybody and so we're still in our if you want to say you know the first time like of a trickster loses its tail or they lose one eye but they still got one eye you yeah, know yeah. they're kind of like so we're kind of like we still got one eye we know some of it you know it's not that good but we want to keep this one eye you know but that's really where we're at because we were like bam you gotta be connected because yeah. otherwise humans right now you're you're risking and so i i feel that integrate how do you integrate in a you evaluate your social media like do your own self chicken you know is this working for me or 
it's okay to silence people for 30 days or not put the heart in, even if it's okay. It's okay, I'm yeah. telling you, you can configure your own, be your own algorithm for your social media, uh, you know, ingestion, which is another I word. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like gonna keep going with this I word thing until it don't, until it pans out, you know, just like when you tell four jokes and they don't land, so then you get to recoup. But I today I really started off my day out on the land, out of my house. It, it's it's nippy here in Montana right now, and um, even that learning the stories I grew up about this time of year, there are ones that I'm in a new story because we're experiencing things that maybe happened before the generations that that I come, the recent ones, but we're experiencing all sorts of stuff. And that means I have to go away or I have to share, I have to share the places that I love and that you know, I've been part of um, interceding. There's another I word, interceding in their destruction. That's been some of my my life story. But they're places I love. So the best thing I can share some days on social media is just things. I drive by any axes. I drive by the buffalo or bison, whatever English word you want to use. I drive by it. You know, I see these mountains, I see beautiful light, I see unencumbered landscape. And I know not everybody has that that privilege and, and gifts. And, you know, so safely I take pictures. And so sometimes for my own heart, I post images that they're going to live on. If they look at my, you know, <laughs> I mean, that's kind of scary because I was like, when I get on the other side, I believe I could fiddle with the internet. Like, you know, cause you have a lot of power, right? So we don't yeah. know. So that, that would be a whole other power hour, like about really talking about our teachings about you're not done. You start a whole nother set of teachings when you transition. And we're not, we have teachings about them, but that's not where we're at. We're all supposed to stay here. We're supposed to live and hang on good, bad, or otherwise, you know, you, you hang on because until creator decides your timetable. And I really, I really think that this week was a unifying moment, but you know, I'm glad I joined it joined it, but you know, I was like, I was doing okay without it. I'm just going to say, and, uh, but I, I love some of the stuff coming out and, just now, uh, Gene talking about the evolution of uh, the technology of podcasting. Yeah. Podcast with your family. You know, uh, like there are things that I see. Uh, one of my younger relatives was posting a pictures of her. She remembered the recipe that her grandmother had taught her about tacos. Her grandma's still alive, but that she posted those tacos and she tagged her grandma. Look at, I'm doing it. I'm keeping our, our family recipe alive. This is what my family's eating tonight. Those are as important as, you know, somebody who, uh, I don't know, gets to ride on a spaceship. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry they didn't let her stream freely on social media, but you know that type of thing. It, we all have a contribution to the stories that will be remembered and reheard, whether it's on the wind or it's on the worldwide net. Yeah, I like that. I mean, we all have our skills, gifts, and talents, you know, and and some of us are are going to speak and be out in the public, so and and making a difference or saying whatever it is that we're going to do or doing whatever we're going to do at that level. But the importance of you just, just taking care of your family, mm -hmm. the importance of you just taking care of your children, mm -hmm. the importance of you just taking, you know, self, that self-care too mm -hmm. is just as important, even more so I think mm -hmm. than that, than striving to be out there on this, your big stage, whatever it is, you know, or, and, and so, um, you know, and, and, 
before we end here too is, is that you're talking about these stories you know as a storyteller and, and being storytellers ourselves is uh, that our life is a story and our story is made up of these moments and even the hist history of it too and and you said something too about um but although within this, the genocide of, of they wanted to end indigenous people, native peoples on this, these continents, you know, globally, you know, and and such. But here we're still here. We're still here. And maybe that's the trickster story there, that we are that trickster story. <laughs> And how are we going to write that trickster story just with our existence? Mm. Collectively. Collectively. Not, not just collectively on Turtle Island here on this continent, but collectively over in Australia, collectively in New Zealand, collectively indigenous peoples in, in South America, and, you know, and, and over in Asia, and, you know, and, and collectively. We are that trickster story. We we are that that victorious story, you know. And then what story is that? And the story is is just being here, you know, and just that mm -hmm. existence of who we are and being that. And again, we started off this talking about identity. Who who are we? Who are we? You know, and who do we want to be? And and so it's like. As as those who are out here too, I was taking a look at some of these. You no, know, thanks for joining us, um, Stephen. Hey, hey, good good to see you, brother. Um, you know, Lindsay is on here. Rita, thanks for joining today. Anthony, uh, I'm taking a look at those chats. Thank you all. Thanks for joining in. Thank you for your uh, your words too in the chats. Uh, joining in, you know, and each of you, as we're talking about this too, you're joining in with the chats, you know, just go out there and share, you know, Jessica, you know, Rhonda, uh, just share your stories too, and, you know, and, uh, you know, and, and who are we? Who are we? And and so, um, any last words, Lori, before we, before we end this, this moment in our story? I think that, uh, universally connections or universal connections uh, that's that's one of our powers to understand that words you speak from the moment of realness vibrate across time and that you know i i would just want to say that i also appreciate all of you and the families you come from and really want to acknowledge the strength of everybody's life before your own and everybody that's going to live on that's my dream that you have all your dreams come true and that you have that support in a good way oh gonna cheesh you know and we've been dreamt into existence and here we are here we are and as we're on here right now you know and those who join us here we're dreaming the future generations into existence with with just us our presence our presence you know and so again it's like those dreams to come true true those prayers to come true you know and whatever they may be and, and um just for all those people and to pray for each other you know and just know that out there if you're having a hard time out there right now just know that somebody is praying for you you don't even know who they are but they're praying for you you know we got your back we got your back. We got each other's back. There's someone who's lighting the smudge or somebody in the sweat lodge, you know, out wherever ceremony, they're praying for you. They're praying for you. And so with that, you know, thanks for uh, today with the Native Wellness Institute, you know, and just having a conversation, you know, and I, I like this thing. It's like almost sitting around the kitchen table sitting around the kitchen table having a conversation you know and, and i got my hot chocolate here and ruby doctored it up for me here and yeah and uh and just having a conversation you know and, and that's where it starts there's so many things that that starts with just with the conversation so thanks Lori. thanks for joining in and and uh you know and take care stay warm i know it's a little little chilly out here not like montana i'm headed up to alaska next uh Tomorrow, actually, I'm headed up to Anchorage, and then and uh, the next week I'll be headed up to Southeast Alaska. 
man. So, um, so everyone who joined in, thank you so much. Blessings and wellness to you all. And uh, until next time, good night, Chish. Take care, everyone.